PlayStation is going to announce the PS5 Pro and Xbox has even bigger plans than no one saw coming. This is Cole Eastwood. Thank you for checking out this video. Today, we're going to talk about the Xbox Series X2. We've got new insights to the roadmap for the hardware on the way. And if you end up enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new content. And let's hear about next generation starting early. The Xbox Series consoles are now three years old and how most AAA games run upscaled from 1080p. The age of the hardware is showing, especially looking at Xbox's first party, Full next-generation games will be pushing visuals beyond the current power of the hardware. Leaks from trusted insiders point to Xbox jumping ahead to next-generation far earlier in 2026 with the Xbox Series X2 console. A concept for the all-digital Series X is 2024 and is likely to reduce the margin loss on console. But in 2021, Phil Spencer explained in an interview that the hardware team was developing the next Xbox console. So why would Xbox want or need to get ahead of the PlayStation console when they don't specifically compete in that market in price or power? The Xbox Series consoles released in 2020 alongside the PS5 and Slim or all digital consoles in 2023, PlayStation 5 Pro is rumored to launch in the holiday of 2024. Keep in mind that according to leaks for hardware for the PS5 Pro, this model would not noticeably boost performance from 30 to 60 FPS, as new games like Grand Theft Auto 6, according to Digital Foundry, would still run at 30 FPS across this generation of PlayStation and Xbox. With the PS5 Pro in 2024, Xbox would come out with a cross-generation Xbox Series X2 in 2026. Six years on the generation gap, reducing that from the usual eight years. A smart move that would eliminate some of the developer friction on the Xbox hardware side that needs to work harder to optimize for the low ramp pool of the Xbox Series S. Xbox wouldn't be chasing a power narrative with the Xbox Series X2 in 2026, but the console would be considerably more powerful than the PlayStation 5 Pro, a mid-gen console with advanced architecture for the Xbox Series X2, since the PS5 Pro version of games would also have to run on PS5's 2020 machine. Let's take a look at what would be in the Xbox Series X2 in 2026. The processor within the system on chip, according to the AMD roadmap, would be the 2024 era Zen 5 TSMC's 4 nanometer or 3 nanometer process. It is based off of Ryzen 8000 codename Granite Ridge, making it a massive upgrade from the 52 compute units, 3.8 gigahertz, 8 core, 16 thread CPU we have now, up to 4.2 gigahertz. 16 cores with 32 simultaneous multi-threads, a next-generation processor which is overtly technical but understand that most games do not push the current 8 cores by design, let alone simultaneous multi-threads with 32 cores. The graphics RAM on the Xbox Series X2 would be up to current GDDR6 from 16 gigabytes to 20 gigabytes over what the PS5 Pro would have to offer at 16 gigabytes. Clock speeds would be set to improve drastically over the current Xbox Series X, as the new GDDR6 latency and power draw allows Xbox hardware teams to boost this new frequency inside the console while keeping temperatures stabilized, leading to better and more consistent performance. The graphics chip is what gaming fans are most interested in and AMD's jump from the Xbox Series X Navi 2 would be upgraded to full RDNA 3, which would still see full compatibility with the Xbox Series S and X architecture. At this point in 2026, the console will launch with Navi 4 as Navi 5 would be hitting the desktop PCs in 2026. Navi 4 is a very modern GPU for a console price set at five to $600. And that's very likely where Xbox would be pricing this new console in 2026, somewhere around $550. One of the holdbacks for current generation consoles is the promise to have realistic lighting with ray tracing, and that always ended up with a trade-off of 30 FPS in quality mode. And as developers change game design to offload more processes to the CPU, it should free up this Navi 4 GPU to take on more ray tracing performance calculations, 
allowing games to finally run at 60 FPS on Xbox Series X2. A next generation Xbox Series X2 seems unorthodox, especially as early as 2026, knowing that PlayStation will likely launch their next generation PS6 in 2028, meaning that Xbox would have a power advantage for two years, only to be left behind when next generation starts with the PS6. Just after the Xbox Series consoles launched, Phil Spencer explained that he'd rather see consoles release more in cadence with mobile phones, where most users can upgrade their phones about every four years. As modern games are more compatible across a wider configuration of hardware, it makes more sense to offer more choice with newer consoles more often that keep up with modern game development. Rumors of this Zen 5 processor with a Navi 4 GPU that takes another two to four times power leap from the current Xbox Series X console makes the Xbox Series X2 not only an enticing upgrade, but a necessity as Xbox first party game developers are pushing the envelope of what games look and feel like with modern hardware. Insiders are sure that the Xbox Series X2 would be announced at the end of 2025 for release date and holiday of 2026. This is Cole Eastwood. Thank you so much for checking out this video. But talking about the Xbox, Phil Spencer has said that he considers the Xbox Series X their mid-gen console. So it must be along their roadmap for them to have an iterative console with a digital version. Because I know there will be people in the comment section who are like, I just bought a Series X last year, or maybe this year you're waiting for one for the holidays. But I do know talking to hardware leads that power is still there and is still untapped potential. I know, if you've been around a while, you're probably wondering, where are the glasses? I'm wearing contacts, might get some taking used to for you, and probably for me, but it's something I want to do. And if you're here this long into the video and you're still around, maybe you do care if I look totally different or I've got beady little eyes, and hey, that's how I was born. But uh, they're, they're blue, they're nice, aren't they? Yeah, if you're enjoying this video, let me know by liking and subscribing to the channel. Hit the bell to be notified of new weekly content. If you want to further support the work we're doing here on the Cold Eastwood channel, you can do that by hitting the join button below. That gets you early access for videos and merch giveaways on the channel for merch of your choice. Also, we have the XC podcast that runs every Monday, 5 p.m. Pacific time. We'll be there next week to talk about the news, and then we'll be taking a little break for the holidays. But thank you so much for everybody supporting this uh, podcast and the channel. But I want to know what you think in the comments. Everyone has an opinion. I want to hear it there. And while you're there, as I always say, be nice.